Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Jurassic Park Hunter Legends. So, last week we successfully got Rexy bagged, and she's off to go to Jurassic World. What we're going to look at doing now is probably going to the final map of the mod, Isla Sorna. And if I remember right, I don't think I was going to go after T Rex. I think I wanted to try going after more raptors. So I could. Uh, see, here's the problem. I always want to try doing the dialogues, but I am terrible at shooting them and getting them down, so it usually ends up with me getting killed. Maybe what we will do instead... Now, if you only give 15, then it might be... Yeah, it might be actually more beneficial to do an all-out hunt with the first three herbivores and the raptors. It's a little bit of excitement. So, Isla Sorna, we have not been to the map before. Let's give ourselves a little rundown here, shall we? Located 207 miles west of Costa Rica is the largest island of the five deaths and in-gen code named this area Site B. After Hurricane Clarissa hits this land, all personnel were evacuated and the facilities were abandoned. In the northwest lies the in-gen compound and in the south remains the worker's village. This area has canyons that cut into the interior which has a large amount of water and lets cutting into it. Advanced difficulty. So it sounds like we have a couple of things we can find. There's the worker's village from the lost world we might be able to go and see. The in-gen compound, I think, could be a reference to Jurassic Park 3 when there's... I think it might be with the... What, after the Spinosaurus kind of encounter by the fence? There's a few different little areas in Jurassic Park 3 that are like in-gen facilities on Site B, but... We'll have to see what's there. I was also curious if we would have something like a Rex nest hidden on the island, but... Hard to say until we actually get in, so without further ado... Actually, let's also turn those off. We don't want to be too... We shouldn't need them, but we'll just try kind of base. Off to Site B on Isla Sorna. Okay, so we're loaded in here now, and it's actually... Oh, this is cool. This is kind of what I was expecting we would see on the, like, overview map. Because it is the exact image of Isla Sorna, like, the layout of it. The only thing I want to do, and I noticed I really should watch my videos back on the channel itself to see how they come out. But one of the things I noticed is that when I go to, like, look around, there's a lot of blur in that. So I'm going to adjust my mouse sensitivity here. Not quite that one. No, that's still too high. I want the... Is that the... I guess that's as low as I can go, really. Oh, no, maybe this is. There we go. Okay, so that's a much lower sensitivity. I'm hoping this will make it a little smoother as I'm glancing around and the video is going to be a bit more crisp for you guys. Again, we basically still are trying to build up our uh, total subscriber count and if we can get up to the thousand... Oh, should right buy something already. I actually think that might be one of the little buildings... Oh, well, there's something nearby. Okay, now this actually feels a lot smoother to look around with this. Oh, lordy. Wait, those are... I don't think those are Brachiosaurs. The head's too different on them. Are they Apatosaurs or Mementosaurs? Because I think that's what the Lost World sauropods were, weren't they? Yes, there's this little bunker here. But these guys are, they're definitely not Brachiosaurs, you can tell, the head is a lot different on them. I don't think Apatosaurs were, maybe, these guys might be Mementosaurs. Because it looks like the neck is, like, extremely elongated for how the body sits. That's actually kind of neat little find here. It's kind of right in the very middle of this area. Okay, so maybe what I'll do is keep the shotgun ready instead. But yeah, if we can get up to that again, the thousands of... Nope. Hi! I mean, a lot of your detail gets lost this close up, so... Probably best to view you guys from a distance. But if we can get up to the thousand subscribers, then I can kind of say we got a foothold on YouTube, and I'm going to look at... In upgrading the internet package. It's basically... I don't want to put too much money in without some footing as... Okay, it's... Oh. Wow, it's raining, too. Oh, just create the sore. Oh, God, I think we found the long grass. Oh, 
Okay, we'll have to be careful because, again, Soren has a pretty wild and... Ah, see... Okay, it's probably just those... the Mementosaurs. Sorna and the law. Sorna is probably my favorite setting for any of the Jurassic Park franchise stuff, just because it feels like this completely untamed, wild, and prehistoric place. Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. I mean, the theme park setting is kind of interesting in that, but I still just feel so drawn into more. I think it's kind of like why. Uh, was it just Peter Jackson's King Kong? I think that's how I was referred to. I really like Skull Island, and I wish, I kind of wish they didn't even include the, uh, going to New York stuff of it, just because the island was so fascinating in its own right. That's like Kong Skull Island as well. There's something just about a truly, I wouldn't say entirely alien, oh, okay, I guess there are like patches of, uh, weather on the island, but there's something about a prehistoric, ancient kind of world to explore, and... I don't know, it kind of feels like a mix of documentary adventure film in a way. Okay, just a cup. Oh, hello. Okay, shoot, I was hoping we could have gotten a better angle to try getting the rifle out for a shot, but... Okay, sounds like he's calmed down, so we might actually still get that opportunity. Oh, yeah, heavy mist, rain, fog. God, this place does feel a lot different than the other maps so far. And I can already see a few things on the map here that we should try checking out. Like, there's a big, long, kind of gray patch, I'm guessing, as well in the buildings. The Worker's Village, I think it's directly east of me. I'm not sure, though. This is definitely a map we're going to have a lot of interesting finds on, and probably a lot of interesting encounters, too. I'll we'll just use the rifle to be ready. But yeah, I'm hoping, like I say, one of the things, I think it was because of how quickly... Holy crap. Well, they actually included... I'm not sure what the hell that was. Oh, I'm trying to think of pronunciation. Like, Dinosuchus, I think that's what that is. Because he's kind of like an Easter egg in the Jurassic Park series. He's sort of included in there, but more like hidden references and obscure appearances in video games. Okay, so stay always up there. Oh, you know what? We're getting kind of close. I wonder if I should even try with the bow and arrow. Okay, where are you? You should still be... There we go. I mean, granted it was a number of shots, but... Okay, so where are we kind of in relation to everything? We're almost like this big kind of pool area. So I wonder if there might even be another one of those... Dinosuchuses. Sukai? I'm not even sure the... Plural of that, but... Oh, yeah, there is one. Oh, actually, two. Yeah, th four... Wow, okay, there's a lot of them. They have an appearance, I think it's in, like, uh, Jurassic Park... I think it's an arcade game where it was, like, a shooter. Where they kind of make their appearance. And then you only see, like, I think it's a skeleton in Fallen Kingdom or, like, a skull or something. They're a really obscure occlusion into, like, the entire franchise. Um, not going to get too close. I mean, they should be harmless, but still. I advise not getting quite too close to any gigantic crocodile-esque creature. But that is a very cool find here on Sorna. So we got one Stegosaurus so far. It does feel like we're just like exploring a lost... Well, basically exploring the lost world. Exactly that. Okay, so we'll head over this way. I... And one nice touch of detail is in the ambience, you'll hear the Spinosaurus roar. 
That's really cool. They decided to replace the T-Rex, and it fits very well if you are... Oh, there's another one. If you are a big fan of the Jurassic Park series and have seen the movies, that... Okay, I guess I can't be crouched if I want to keep the camera kind of... Ah, uh, from freaking out on me. Okay, so this one we might use the rifle on, because I don't think I'll be able to cross... Uh, see, try and get the headshot. It's kind of hard to make out from this distance. This is kind of something where I'm wondering, too. Like, are the binoculars too high, or are they at the right height? Because... Oh, man. Okay, maybe I can get him to do just, like, a little bit of turn around, and if he stops again... There we go. Okay, I think that's just the Crethosaurus running off. So I'm going to go into the water again just to... Be careful, because I hear footsteps. A lot of footsteps. Okay, this is kind of... It is just a Crethosaurus. Okay, I was trying to figure out what the heck was going on, because it sounded like it was almost coming towards us, but I guess it just got stuck in... that little area of the water. Or the water kind, keeping it pinned in there. Yes, yeah, so there's our dozing Stegosaurus. And one thing that we can... I mean, it's a little cheesy, but it is still something you can use to your advantage, is that the herbivores don't go into the water. Only the carnivores do, and I think it's so that way they could try to get you and kill you, so you can't just, like, cheese every single animal by hiding the water bit. So what we're going to do is probably just venture carefully around some of the outer rim here. Like, this map is so big, there's going to be so much to see and just take in and hunt on it. Yeah, I am finding maybe too... I have the sensitivity too high, and that's why my shots were also kind of... Well, I shouldn't... Were mostly terrible. Is maybe with the lower sensitivity, I'll be a bit more accurate. We'll have to see. I I should check. Is there... Okay, yeah, there's no real way of telling exactly what the DPI or whatever the... Oh, Hi. You were hidden right in there, weren't you? Okay, this is actually kind of interesting, so... I gotta be careful, I do have the... Oh, that was just you. God, there are a lot of Dinosuchi in the water. I'm surprised there's any other animals on the island if they were all... There's the Spinal Roar. I was gonna say, I have to be careful. Because of the raptors and how the map layout is, like, they really could be ready to ambush you from anywhere. I also hear more footsteps, and it sounds like. Maybe on the other side of this kind of mountain here. But, oh man, the spine was gonna be a very, very interesting hunt on this island. Like, they re. Tormer and his team really knew how to capture a lot of the feeling of the maps, and, like, once we do have the Spino down, we will do, I think, a few episodes of, uh, Jurassic Park Country Legends version 2. Oh, what's that? Carithosaur and Galley. Okay. Just because they're, I think the V2 version of the, well, version 2 uses all of the V2 maps that we have been showing off for quite a while on the channel now, and also changes up the animal roster. I don't know about the weapons. There might be some changes there, but I'll have to, again, show you guys when we are at the point being able to kind of showcase it. Right now, it's just going about and seeing what we can kind of do in regards to doing the base vanilla mod off and finishing that. I'm kind of 
tempted to try calling in a raptor. Now, I don't know if I actually got a reply over that way or not. It seemed like the timing for it made it like that, but it didn't sound quite like a raptor call I've heard before. Okay, I no reply, so nothing around us. So I'm going to make our way a bit northwards. Oh, I kind of... I really want to get our subscribers up so that way I can look at doing that with some, like, footing down. Because I'd love to keep this episode going more and more, but we are having to work in those time constraints just so that way they can upload within a reasonable amount of time. Time. Oh, just, okay. I almost thought this was like a little frog or something, because I just saw kind of like the... Underbelly would have been the lighter color, and then the back was the patterning. I'm not really hearing anything. Well, maybe I stand corrected, although that could have just been ambience. I think it might just be a Kreethosaurus, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh no, it's a trike! Okay, I just heard the footsteps. I don't know if we'd get many points for trying to get it down, but... Yeah, it just seems like it blends right into everything here. And this is why I like the sensitivity being, like, so minimal. Because it actually feels like you have cover you're hiding in. Okay, actually, it might have ran off quite a ways. I thought maybe there'd be some water to stop him just because of how. S Sorna is laid out, but okay, so that looks like that is the trike down. I heard more more footsteps too. Now what am I stuck on? I'm just kind of surprised I haven't run into getting. Okay, just create the sore. Yeah, unfortunately, the trike's not on the roster, so I'll just try for maybe an ankylosaur. We've had pretty good luck with those. Okay, maybe not. Oh, I'm. S what the? He okay, there's even more interesting things not on Sorna as an island, but on the map. I think those are lead six of these. Possibly. I'm not entirely sure, but they do look mass... I think those could be. There's a lot of stuff just, like, in these maps to really take in and see. It's incredible. No. Oh. We're gonna leave you be. So it looks like we have Brachiosaurs in the kind of shore regions, and that one pod of Menchisaur is more inland. But yeah, we barely touched the surface of Sorna, and it's already an amazing map. And I actually haven't been doing too bad hunting. I mean, the first Stego was kind of a bit out there where it was just kind of chase it down because it couldn't run away from us. The second one was actually a pretty good shot with the rifle. 
And then the trike there was... Uh, again, just using the map more to our advantage. <laughs> oh, do I want to try a raptor? Yeah, we'll try. Okay, I'm actually kind of happy about that, just so that way we actually can bring some points back this hunt. But I'm not hearing much of anything over here, and we are getting kind of up there for timing, so... We'll just try going a little further, see what's around us. Yeah, nothing too much. And there's still a lot we will get... Actually, there's even like a... We might have to even go for a swim in one of these other episodes, because there are... There's that little island right to the northwest there. There might be something on there. It's kind of hard to say, but... Man, Sorna is definitely going to be a really, really interesting map to try hunting down more things on. But it always seems like whenever I try going for the raptors... They are incredibly difficult to locate. It just seems to be my either my luck of the draw. Let me try for a pair. I don't actually think... Oh! Oh, no, not that. I need to turn run mode off. So there is actually a pair over this way. It's just so dense I can't see anything. I'm hoping we'll get lucky using the rifle and just one nice shot off on it, and that'll put it down, and we have a nice little bundle of points we can take back from this hunt. Okay, I see most of it right there, so the ah, oh shoot, the head I think is... Man, I don't have a nice shot at the head because of... Okay, I'm not gonna move. Now let it do its thing for a little bit there. Oh, wow, you actually led us to... Another opportunity with an Ankylosaur. Let's go and see if I can rush up here and get them. So there's Yankee there. Yeah, the water is going to kind of limit what, how far they can really get from us. Just trying to see. Oh, it's going to be difficult catching up to them. I mean, if we can squeeze them in just before this hunt's over... And the pair is just up here. So this actually worked out really well for us. Oh wait, a uh, creep? Oh, so where'd the pair get off to then? Okay, well, we got the blood trail, so maybe we'll try following it for a little bit and see. Again, it just, it came up as so many multiple things we could try getting. Figure maybe it'd be worth it. That's, oh, okay, here we go. That said, though, it's definitely winding itself through a lot more of, like, thicker area. I heard it. Okay, it says there's one. There it is. Okay, so we're going to have to probably try using the revolver to get it down, but I think we should be okay too. 
I don't know if he managed to get another shot landed or not. It's one of the things about carnivores where its age kind of shows is... There might be all kinds of foliage in that, but it both is... It's basically for decoration for quite a few things, because anything you can walk through, as you guys in the comments have been very helpful letting me know, anything you can walk through can also be shot through. But that also means that it doesn't actually provide you, like, visibility cover. So they can see you through however dense of stuff you might get into. Haki, Corythosaur... <laughs> Okay, I'm really hoping we can find this Parasaur quickly, because again, time, not exactly on my side. So there's some more blood here. Anyway, there's blood here. And it went here. Then maybe it went this way? Oh! She even got little spiders around on the map, too. There's so many big and small details you can... There's no telling what you might just overlook by accident when you're out on Sorna here. It sounds like it's pretty close. The shotgun might do it. There we go. I do hear a bit of movement over here, but I think... Yeah, it's just the Kreethosaur. Okay, so we'll head back with this. A nice bundle of points from this hunt. We're back in the hunt menu, and yeah, we did actually get quite a bit. So what I might do is, in order to sightsee more, I might... I should do the sniper rifle because I haven't actually used the sniper rifle that much in the series yet, so that might be good. Do more of a car or herbivore focused hunt. Try the sniper rifle out, get what points we can, just keep building up, and use next episode as a sightseeing visit to Sorna. But oh, this is going to be a fantastic map to end the main series for, well, kind of do the last home stretch with. Thank you guys very much for joining me, though, on this episode of Jurassic Park Hunter Legends. If you do like the series, be sure to give it a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave them in the comments right down below. I always try to respond to any questions or feedback as soon as it's up on the channel. Until I see you all in the next episode, though, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.